In this video you will discover how to get a drone pilot license in Florida. Follow these steps to get your Florida drone pilot license. The first thing you need to do to get your Florida drone pilot license is to make sure that you're eligible. In order to use it for commercial use, you must be at least 16 years old. You also have to have good health and the ability to write, speak, and understand English fluently. Note that this doesn't require English to be your official or first language. But in order to safely demonstrate you can understand instructions and laws, you must be fluent. It also does not allow young kids to operate the drone because it is a small machine that could cause injury. This is also not the same as flying a drone recreationally. Recreational flying also requires a safety test, but it is not the exact same as the Part 107 test. This is called the Trust Exam and is distributed and authorized by the FAA. It's also called the Recreational UAS Safety Test. The next step to become a drone pilot in Florida is that you will need to find a good drone pilot training course to get your Florida Remote Pilot Certificate. This training needs to prepare you to take the Part 107 exam which is an FAA required test. If you want to successfully get your Florida drone pilot license, then you will want to find a school or class that can teach you the materials on the Part 107 test. There are a few courses to choose from to help you get your Florida Remote Pilot Certificate. We have listed the best Part 107 drone pilot training below this video. This course is FAA approved and is the best training you will find to help you pass the Part 107 exam. The next step in the process to get a Florida drone pilot license is that you will need to obtain a federal tracking number, FTN. This is done through the IACRA so you can register for the FAA Part 107 exam. IACRA stands for Integrated Airman Certification and Rating Application. As long as you are eligible, they will let you set up an account. They will give you an FTN so they can easily track you as a pilot and ensure that rules are being followed. This also helps you register for additional certificates and job applications. Let's look at how to set up an account and register for your FTN with IACRA. Find IACRA's website and look to the right corner where the login is. Click register. At this point you must choose the applicant role to get a new certificate. It will ask you to agree to their terms of service, which is labeled TOS before you continue. Here are the next steps you need to follow to make a user profile. Fill in the blanks. No need to fill in information about any existing certificate since it's a new certification process. You need to provide your legal name. This also needs to match the name you will register for the test. Include suffixes here. Give an email address that you use and check regularly. They will send you important notifications. Now, you can make a username and password. Make sure to jot this down somewhere, so you don't forget it. You can click register. The next screen that loads will give you the FTN. Make sure to store this information safely, and be sure to check your email. They will send you a notification to store this information as well. A certifying officer will ask for this number any time you apply for a certain application or certification. This is also true of certain jobs requiring a different personal information level. Next in the process to become a drone pilot in Florida is that you will need to schedule and pass the Part 107 exam. These are all the quick facts about the test that you need to know. This exam has 60 multiple choice questions on it. You will always have three options, A, B or C. The questions do not change based on your answers. It does not matter whether you get it right or wrong because the test questions are independent and remain at the same level of difficulty. The test is likely to have visual references to maps and charts of airspace. The entire exam must be completed within two hours. English fluency is required. You have to pay a test fee of $150 and renew your certification every two years. In order to pass the exam, you must get a 70% or better score. This breaks down to 42 out of 60 questions correct. If you fail, you can retest in two weeks. Passing the exam means that you are subject to these rules. The FAA is allowed to request an immediate inspection or testing of your small UAS drone. They may also ask for documents that have to do with your UAS. Any accident that results in injury or damage of over $500 must be reported to the FAA within 10 days. A pilot must conduct pre-flight inspections of the aircraft and control station before every flight. After taking courses and passing the Part 107 exam to get your Florida drone pilot license, you are still responsible for abiding by any state and federal laws. 
A good course on drone pilot training in Florida should explain some of these laws throughout their course material. The course we show in the description below this video has everything you need to make sure you know these laws. These are the steps to become a drone pilot in Florida. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.